Alright, so this video is about Pythagoras in 3D, and there's a pretty classic question that people uh, do with this kind of a thing. Alright, so there's our question. It's a pretty classic question. It takes a little bit of thinking to get your head around, but the basic idea is something like this. Uh, we have a room. Let's draw a room in 3D, and this can be tricky, so uh, watch how I do it. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 room in 3D. Okay, and we're asking um, the distance from this point here to that point here. And we've been given some dimensions here. We know that it's um, 3 metres long, it's 4 metres wide, and it's uh, 2 metres high. So there's our room, and we're trying to find the distance from there to there. Alright, so how do we do it? We don't have like a three-dimensional Pythagoras uh, formula. We can do it in two steps. So the way to do it, and you're going to have to try to visualize this in your head because it's hard to see here, uh, is we create two triangles. First of all, we create a triangle on the floor from this corner to this corner. So from the bottom front right corner to the um, bottom back left corner. And this is a right angle. I know it's hard to see, in, but it's a wall. It's, this is the floor, right? So what we have is a 3 by 4 by something triangle between those points. I can draw it in 2D so we can see it a little bit better. 3 by 4 by x. Alright, and there's our, our floor. Now, if we do Pythagoras' theorem really quickly on that, we'll see that x squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared, x squared equals 9 plus 16, x squared equals 25, and x equals the root of 25, which is just 5. Okay, good so far. We now know that that x value is 5. And now we move into our next setup, which is this length of x, which we now know to be 5, this height, which we knew all along was 2, and now, if we know that's 5 and that's 2, we have a right angle here. I know it's hard to see, we have a right angle there. And so now we have a new triangle, a standing up one, across the room, 5 by 2, and our length there. So that's 5, that's 2, and we can call this length that we were trying to find all along, we can call it y. Okay, so we have um, y squared equals 5 squared plus 2 squared, y squared equals 25 plus 4, y squared equals 29, and y equals the root of 29. And that's about uh, 5.39. Now, it's a little bit hard to do here because we're working in two dimensions, but I really want you to look around whatever room you're in and imagine drawing a line along the floor from one corner to the far corner and then drawing another one. And hopefully you can see that right angle appear there and that right angle appear there. One triangle followed by another triangle. Now this kind of question, it's a classic in maths classrooms across the country. So when we talk about Pythagoras in 3D, this is probably the sort of question that you might end up dealing with. I should say, perhaps your maths teacher is more uh, creative than some other maths teachers, but Pythagoras in 3D, in essence, always boils down to two triangles. Find a triangle which will give you another length and then find the next triangle which you can use that length on to solve that one. So always keep that in mind. As soon as you move into three dimensions, you're going to have to deal with a triangle followed by another triangle in some way.